here, of course, is the one that I thought I was going to mess up on, but hopefully I don't. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Austin here, and I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to show you five brand new pickups I got today from Mutation Creation. Before we get into that, huge shout out to B&H Reptiles. Thanks for this really cool shirt, and I'm not too sure if they're slacking on the back. Definitely not slacking, I just peeked. But really cool shirt, thank you so much for that. Love the logo. And now we're gonna get to five really cool snakes I picked up today from Billy, so let's get right into it. So here are the snakes, they're still in the bags. I'm not gonna go in any particular order, I'm just gonna go through them. Hopefully I can ID them properly. There's two that are just look, I won't spoil it, just, we'll just see what we got. So the first bag right here, I already untied the first knot, so it's just one simple knot. And right here, of course, is the one that I thought I was going to mess up on, but hopefully I don't. This is a pastel leopard, black pastel, hypo, or ghost, possible phantom, 50% head for clown. So this is a really cool female. Can't wait to go and get her into the ghost clown project when she grows up. But it's really cool. I love the gray head on her and how the pattern just sporadically comes in and then it's faded and we even have some more pattern towards the tail I don't know how well you guys can see that but it's really cool we even have more fading around the middle of the snake and it's just a really cool looking snake so let's put her back hopefully she doesn't tag me earlier I took a look at her and she tagged me real nice so hopefully she just goes in the bag no problems let's tie this up and when you're shipping snakes in bags, it's always better to use a zip tie. Sometimes the snakes can come and wiggle around and actually open up the knot and get out loose in the bag or inside the shipping box. It's just better to get a zip tie, it's a little more secure. So let's move on to the second snake right here. And this one's another really cool one. This is a champagne asphalt possible het for monsoon. And it's just a really cool animal. I love the orange on the head. So that head stamp looks really nice and promising for the head monsoon. And I love when you add the yellow belly complex, in this case it's the asphalt. It gives you all these really nice ringers at the tail. That's where you're getting all that white stuff from. There's no head pied in this. If you guys didn't know, champagne pieds are all white. And champagne head pieds look like, almost look like a pied themselves. So I have a lot more ringers in this. This is a really cool snake. I love that stripe down the back, almost like a freeway. And hopefully with this girl make some freeways in the future. So once again, this is a champagne asphalt 50% het monsoon female. So hopefully she can prove out het monsoon. If she doesn't prove out het monsoon, I'll still make some really cool champagne freeways. You guys already know Ducky from Mutation Creation. She looks really cool and I wouldn't mind having a few of those in my collection as well. And maybe even down the line getting Clown into it. Clown with the freeway looks really cool. And that's just the way of taking most of my collection to the clown and the ultra mode, as a lot as you guys know. Let's get into this other snake bag. This is snake number three. Speaking of ultra mode, right here I have a normal female, 100% het for ultra mode, and 100% het for cryptic. It's also het for caramel. I'm not too crazy about the caramel project, so I'm using this for the Krypton ultra mills. I do have a Mojave Ultramel 100% Heifer Cryptic, who might even go to this to make some pure Mojave Cryptics, which does look really cool. And of course the Kryptons are really cool as well, so maybe I can even get a Spot Nose Head Ultramel combo into this in the future, because the Spot Nose Kryptons are insane. Adding Ultramel to it definitely would make it that much better. So I'm going to get this girl back. Really key for my Ultramel Clown and Ultramel Krypton project in the future. Because I can either put, once again, the Ultramel Het Cryptic or even an Ultramel Het Clown or even an Ultramel Clown in the future to it and make some really cool Alelic snakes. Because once again, Cryptic and Clown are Alelic. But now let's go get into this third bag or the fourth bag, sorry. And this is yet again another double Het Ultramel Cryptic. So really cool, I got two of these females. Definitely going to boost up my Ultramel Krypton project, my Ultramel Clown project. Really happy to see them grow, and hopefully within the next year and a half I can get them breeding. And hopefully in that time I have an Ultramel Clown male for them. And maybe even a combo Ultramel Clown male. So, 
let's get into that last bag. I see my camera flashing. I think I'm low on battery or maybe memory. I should have deleted the last footage. But I've been slacking lately. Ever since the knee injury, I haven't been doing many videos. So I wanted to come back strong for you guys. I'm recording a few in advance. So when you're seeing this, I should have a few more lined up for you guys. And we'll just get a whole bunch of videos out there. And I'll just continue the streak. But sorry for slacking lately. But you can't get slacking without kinging it. So King Austin, there you go. And this is a special pinstripe 50% head for Monsoon. And this girl has a lot of telltale signs for me that I think is going to prove head monsoon. Especially with this dorsal pattern, it's very wacky. We have a lot of pattern connecting along the sides with these little dots that we're getting from the head monsoons. And I know if I were to come right over here right now and actually open up right over here, this is my pinstripe possible double head for monsoon pied. We're seeing a lot of similar marking and pattern on it, so hopefully both of them can prove out. This one is a little bit more reduced over here, and that's because I believe it's het pied. But this one has no het pied in it, and I just want to go make a lot of monsoons in the future. It's a product I really like. I have a lot of holdbacks, a lot of potential to go make some monsoon pieds and just some regular monsoons. Hopefully in the future I can get some more codoms into it. So if you guys want to get an idea of what the monsoon clown is going to look like, there's something called the Moray. It's very similar to the Monsoon. It's actually out in Europe. It's done by Iris Reptiles. And he's already made some Moray clown combos. Uh, the regular Morays look very identical to the Monsoons. I definitely would not be surprised if in the future they're bred together. More Moray slash Monsoons would be made. And it's just a really cool gene. And you get a little glimpse into what Monsoon clown could look like. So once again, I wouldn't be surprised if they are the same. I'm not saying they are but they're fairly similar. Billy does have both, so we will be pairing them together and hopefully we'll be able to tell really soon. But that's pretty much gonna be it for these videos. Right now I have to go get these back into bins, get them all set up, water, and then maybe tomorrow, or actually two days is feeding day, so hopefully they all eat their first time. I bet they will. A lot of Billy snakes eat really well right off the bat, which is just great. But that's gonna be it, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay tuned for that. Peace out.